Welcome to Pow Talk with Bishop Shema Womack L, better known as Pow, your professor of wellness, a world class naturopathic holistic scientist and herbalist who's been improving people's lives for over 40 years through God's divine word. Pow will share life changing principles for your health and wealth, covering a cornucopia of subjects on holistic living that will refresh, encourage, and guide you towards a higher zone of living. It's time for you to be, do, and have all that the Creator originally intended for you. So let's get up, 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 over the top with your most trusted name in holistic living. Life coach, speaker, and author, the prophet of wellness, Bishop Shema Womack L. Well, welcome to another episode of Pow Talk, and we're going to dive a little deeper into uh, this subject of sleep, something that is uh, missing so much in society. When I say missing, I'm talking about deep quality, refreshing, rejuvenating, reviving sleep, and that's why I'm going to be talking about how to actually create a sleep revival. Why revival? Because we need to be revived in this particular area because there is a particular system in the body called the glymphatic system. And this glymphatic system is actually responsible. It's the only system that we have that's really responsible for pumping waste from our brain. And guess when? When we actually sleep. It's amazing why some people wake up grouchy and uh, moody and emotional uh, neurological impairment is dominant because in today's fast-paced world many people are losing the deep quality of sleep they need for actually healing and restoration and sleep is more than rest it's actually when the brain actively just cleanses it it, it, it cleanses it, uh, itself the brain detoxifies itself it prepares us for the next and the new day so when we don't get the quality the deep quality sleep the brain doesn't cleanse itself it doesn't detoxifies and we're not really prepared for the for the new day or the next day and this system is so vital the glymphatic system that 60 percent we're, we're like 60 uh, there there's statistics and science that says we're 60 percent more productive when we get a deep sleep and when we awake and the brain is more active and we're more creative during this particular time so I want you to understand the brain's cleansing power during sleep, something that is lacking in so many people today. And this is why I'm talking about creating a sleep revival, making your bedroom a healing sanctuary. So we need to understand the brain's cleansing power during sleep. When we sleep, the brain's glymphatic system activates. It begins to remove toxins and waste products like uh, beta, uh, beta uh, amyloid proteins, which actually build up and it affects memory, cognitive function. And this cleansing happens most effectively during not just sleep, but deep sleep. And this is the need for quality deep sleep. Our brain needs to, our brain actually needs to dump out uh, these toxins in order for us to be prepared for the next day and to be clear. So we want to transform our bedroom into a sleeping sanctuary. One of the first things we need to do is declutter and have a clean, organized space that promotes a peaceful mind. Avoid, avoid, and I know because we are all in this kingdom of noise uh, we 
are guilty of many times. We got to have electronics. We got to have work. We got to have some books or some magazines or our iPad. And these are these are all destructions in our bedroom. And you might have to fight this for a while. And I could teach this because I'm telling you, we have these addictions that we don't even realize they're addictions that lure us in to basically when we should be sleeping to distract us and it delays basically us getting that lymphatic system cleaned out that helps our brain to, to actually do a brain dump we actually get bogged down with things when we should be really in a zone of rest a zone where we actually are getting uh, nighttime instructions for the daytime but we have clutter under our bed and now they have beds that have you know the, the little containers and the, the drawers that you pull out and you got things under your bed you really don't want to have those things under your bed you want a clean organized space that just promotes peacefulness and a peaceful mind lighting is really important too dim lighting versus bright lights you want soft warm lights that signal to the brain that it's time to wind down use black blackout um, curtains blackout shades I love it and you might even want to actually put on uh, something over the eyes there there are different things that you can get to just place over your eyes to black out any outside light black out curtains to block any outside light or even wear uh, special eye shades uh, coverings for nighttime now comfortable bedding is so important you want to invest in a comfortable mattress and 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 begin to, to really think how old is your mattress it might be time to replace your mattress a lot of times that will mess up a person's sleep all by itself invest in a comfortable mattress uh, pillows I have invested over the years all kinds of money into pillows that support the proper spinal alignment and then here's the key cool temperature you're supposed to actually create an environment like you're like you're a bear in hibernation and you got to keep the room cool about 60 to 67 percent that's like 15 to 19 celsius that is the temperature to support better sleep and sleep cycles and some of you can even go colder until you're like balled up in the knot under the under the covers under the blankets it doesn't make a difference if it's autumn if it's winter if it's summer if it's spring the body actually enjoys deep sleep when the environment is of a cool temperature um, sometimes I know my wife sees sometimes she can't even stand it but I'll have the air condition on as well even even during the cooler months but just to have that 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 temperature in the environment because it relaxes the body now what is also good is getting yourself a diffuser not the one with the candles because you don't want to be going to sleep and, and creating a fire but a, uh, a diffuser an electrical diffuser and getting involved with some aromatherapy or essential oils Use essential oils like chamomile, rose, which is so powerful, very expensive, but that's because it has a high uh, vibratory rate and frequency. Rose, chamomile, and lavender. What these do, and you could do a combo of this, chamomile, lavender, and rose, or you could just use one. They promote relaxation and begin to create what is called a negative ion effect in the atmosphere which helps the body to relax 
so these are just some simple things I have a lot more I'm going to be going over but start with this I don't want to overwhelm you start to declutter don't have nothing under your bed uh, start pulling some things out of the corner bring some order let your body and your mind and your spirit be programmed that that bedroom is your sleep sanctuary and your place of transformation your place of brain dumping so that you are preparing for the next day declutter change your lighting have dim dim uh, dim lighting comfortable bedding cool temperature and it's not a bad idea to have some essential oils that are being dispersed in the atmosphere now I'm going to tell you just a few other things and then I'm going to let you go but here's some practical help establish a routine going to bed and waking up at the same time each day helps to regulate your internal clock that thing we call circadian rhythm this is really important establish a routine and then you want to limit your screen time this is something we all fight because uh, especially today we like entertainment especially because it's presented to us in every form and fashion and there are thousands of channels on almost every type of platform and uh, network etc but you want to limit your screen time because there's something called the blue light the blue light is from your phones it's even your in your computers and what this blue light does it disrupts melatonin Melatonin is, is, is what helps us to actually go to sleep and, and get into a state of deep sleep. So the blue light from your phones and your computers, it disrupts melatonin production. So you want to switch off screens at least an hour before bed. And practice mindfulness. You want to engage in some deep breathing, meditation, or prayer to just calm the mind before sleep and if you are a caffeine drinker or coffee drinker caffeine is just not in coffee it's in teas as well you want to limit that caffeine uh, way before bedtime actually right about 3 p.m. you want to make sure you don't consume any caffeine drinks whatsoever at 3 p.m. limit caffeine heavy metals in other words avoid stimulants and heavy foods that's close to bedtime because even eating when you supposed to go to bed within an hour your digestive system kicks in and that's going to actually bring interruption in your sleep it's going to have you're going to have sleep disturbances so you want to avoid stimulants you want to avoid heavy foods that's close to bedtime as they will definitely interfere with your ability to fall asleep and by making these small but significant changes as I told you you know decluttering um, having dimmer light having a comfortable bedding making sure your mattress is not old and a cool temperature most definitely and some aromatherapy getting a nice diffuser when you make these small changes you're gonna see how significant it is because it's going to help to revive the healing power of sleep get your circadian rhythm back create an environment that nurtures deep rest you're going to find that you're going to be detoxifying your brain your brain is going to be a, doing a brain dump restorative, restorative sleep is going to be essential for mental clarity emotional stability physical health let's treat our bedrooms as sanctuaries let's treat our bedrooms as places of healing allowing our brains and our bodies the rejuvenation they truly need all right you don't want to be taking work in the bedroom and tests and term papers and all of that because your brain will be confused what what are we doing are we studying are we um, <laughs> Are we on a marathon or are we in a relaxed state? So think differently of how you've been handling this subject called sleep. Creating a sleep revival because your sleep needs reviving. Making your bedroom a healing sanctuary. 
but these are just um, another steps for you to be all the creator wants you to be do what he wants you to do have what he wants you to have I'm Bishop Shema Womack L saying I see you going one place up 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 and over the top get some quality sleep tonight peace thank you for listening to Pow Talk if you enjoyed this podcast and would like to learn more about the benefits of holistic health to reach a higher zone of living go to our website www.bishopwomack.com and be sure to like and subscribe so you can stay up to date on new episodes until next time remember there's only one place to go up 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 and over the top.